Thanks, Jesse, and welcome back into the show, everybody. Esports have burst into the mainstream in recent years, becoming a viable professional pursuit and central form of entertainment for hundreds of millions around the world. Joining us now to discuss what's next in esports is Naz Alataha, the head of global esports partnerships and business developments at Riot Games, the company behind esports, including League of Legends and Valorant. Thanks for joining us, Naz. How are you? Thank you so much for having me. Uh, I'm really excited to talk about this, okay? Because I'm a, I'm a sports girl myself, so esports really interests me. So can you tell me how the esports industry has evolved over the last decade? Because it's really going worldwide. It has gone worldwide. It has been a completely transformative decade. You know, esports started as this very niche, very nascent industry where, you know, the competitors could really only compete as a hobby. And you fast forward to today and you see pro players are able to compete as a living. You know, they make lucrative salaries. You see, you know, League of Legends is a, is a fully globally integrated sport, you know, probably one of the few globally integrated sports in the world. And, um, you know, we're the, the biggest and most popular esport. Our, our fandom and following and production value, you know, really is rivaling what you see in traditional sports. Um, you know, in North America, as an example, uh, our North America League, the LCS, is the third most popular sport in the US, followed only by the NFL and the NBA in that 18 to 34 demographic. So it's been an amazing trajectory. And, you know, for us at Riot, we really see esports as the future of sports. And we think we're, we're really well positioned to deliver that. You know, we have seen um, star athletes rise. We broadcast to tens of millions of people around the world every week. And we've seen over the last few years this influx of support and investment from some of the biggest and most noteworthy brands in the world, brands who have really long and storied histories of um, supporting the, the biggest sports entertainment properties in the world. So MasterCard, Mercedes-Benz. This week, we actually announced that Verizon is coming in on both League of Legends and Valorant Esports. So um, it's an incredibly exciting time. And I think this next decade of esports are, are just you know gonna be massive. I really do agree. It's shooting straight to the top. And you know, I have a, a little cousin who's actively trying to become a professional gamer. Where should someone start off when they're trying to be professional in this rapidly growing industry? Sure. Well, it's, you know, it, 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 you got to be good at the game. Obviously, that, that's a huge box to check. And um, I think what's really exciting to see is is that that stereotype of, oh, if you're playing games, maybe that's that's a, a waste of time being being broken. You know, I think on, on our side for, for Riot, we really want gaming to be a meaningful life pursuit. And I think the, the most obvious manifestation of that is a career as a professional esport athlete. Um, but even beyond just being an esport athlete, there's this huge industry around gaming and esports that you know um, offers a ton of opportunity across so many different career paths. So um, you know we're we're excited just to 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 see and, and hopefully foster that that next generation of um, you know people who are going to come in and continue to shape the the industry. Yeah, I think that's really going to help a lot of people because I, I do hear people talking about that um, and they really want to be part of this industry. Nas, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate your time. And uh, everybody stay right there because we will be right back with more Good Day Live.